alluded to, I'm the president of the Tannery Association. The event was attended by over 500 Kenyan engineers. Athi Water Services Board Chief Executive Officer Engineer Michael Thuita took the gathering through the history of tunneling in the world and its advantages under the theme Demystifying Tunnel Technology. The benefits of tunneling is to shorten the travel distance between two points, minimize impacts on the service environment, and the infrastructure is not sustainable to add. The Northern Collector Tunnel was discussed as an example of iconic tunnel innovations in the region. The tunnel is expected to contribute immensely to bridging the water gap in the country's capital, Nairobi. The president of the Institution of Engineers of Kenya said engineers play a key role in Kenya's water projects. And as engineers, we need to come up with innovative, way, innovative ways of ensuring that this critical component of life is not under threat. And of importance to note, the government has created an enabling environment comprised of policies and legislation designed to increase access to clean water for all in adequate quantity and quality to an affordable price as envisaged in the Big Four agenda. And I think we should be able to exploit this. At the onset, I take this opportunity to congratulate once more at the Waterworks Development Agency for spearheading the formation of the Tunneling Association of Kenya, whose aim is to promote the use of underground space in Kenya. Furthermore, of education and training on underground space and improvement of tunnel safety construction and operation. The cabinet secretary said some of the challenges facing the sector which need to be addressed as a matter of priority include diminishing water resources, low funding, high non-revenue water and governance. My ministry is currently undertaking projects that involve the use of tunnels in water transport such as Northern Collector Tunnel Project, Itare Dam Project, Karimenu 2 Dam Project, Thuake Dam, and Thuake Dam in Makueni, Kitui, Boda, and Mwache Dam in, Kil, in Kwale. Non-revenue water is water that is lost through leakages due to poor piping or vandalism. And this problem, he said, can be tackled by applying tunnel technology. The current levels of non-revenue water is about 41%. The ministry is making efforts to reduce non-revenue water to acceptable levels of 20% and below by the year 2030. And I challenge the engineers here in this room that we have to come up with innovative, cost-effective technologies that can help us bridge the gap. For this country to achieve universal water coverage by the year 2030, we need approximately 100 billion shillings. Professionals, including engineers, were urged to join the government in the war against corruption. For KTN News, I'm Alex Chamwada.